All right, today I wanted to talk about how to test a 12 volt ignition coil. Uh, this particular style is really easy to demonstrate on, uh, but the principles apply pretty much across the board. Uh, it's, uh, it's the same technology it has been, you know, forever and ever. Uh, you might have to do a little bit of research and find out uh, what particular uh, specs are used by the manufacturer as far as uh, resistance goes and as far as um, how it's actually laid out and designed. But I mean, uh, everything from coil on plugs to the old HEI, they all kind of operate the same way. So um, we'll get started on this one. The first thing we're going to do is check the, the primary windings. Uh, and on this coil, that's between the negative and the positive post here. Polarity doesn't matter because we're just checking resistance. And if you'll look at my comprehensive scientific chart, you can see we're looking uh, between 0.4 and 2 ohms. Uh, this uh, multimeter is auto ranging. So if you have a manual one at home, you're going to want to put it on the 200 scale. And I'll get a shot of that. This is just one of those cheapy give me ways at Harbor Freight. So you're going to want to set it to that, the 200. And then we're going to want to test across these two poles. I'm shaking like a drunk. All right, what do we come up with? 1.2. Okay, so that's well within spec. And once again, uh, polarity doesn't matter on the meter or uh, on the uh, coil itself uh, because we're just checking resistance. Okay, the secondary uh, windings are between uh, the center post here and either the, the positive or negative. It doesn't matter. Once again, same thing, just measuring resistance, so polarity doesn't matter. Um, if you're following along at home with your manual multimeter, you're going to want to go to the uh, 20 kilo ohm scale. It's going to look just like that. All right. Uh, once again, it doesn't matter which side. I'll do this side just for uh, ease of reach. And we're coming up with 9.33, it looks like. 3.2, right in that range. Uh, which is, it's well within spec here. Uh, you're looking at between uh, 6K and 20K. So, yeah, it's fine. It's a brand new coil. You know, that's what I expected. But uh, it's an easy one to test. And like I said, uh, the technology is applicable to uh, you know virtually every coil up until the very modern ones. So I thought that might be a neat thing to show you guys. Uh, any questions or comments, just drop them down below. All right, happy wrenching.